Alright, hello and welcome to Mordheim. Uh, it's been like a year since I posted, so I figured it's about time to start up another series I'm probably not going to finish. So I picked Mordheim with the, uh, the new DLC that just came out, the Undead Warband, is obviously what I'm going to be playing, because everyone who's doing this game is doing that. Uh, I've played a shit ton of this game lately, and I kind of have a problem that I just keep playing it, so I figured I may as well get some coffee money out of it. Uh, I'm going to say now, you're probably going to hear my mouse and my keyboard, because they're both mechanical and kind of loud. Uh, you also might hear my computer, occasionally it makes noise, and there's people working on the building. So you're just going to have to deal with it, I guess. Um, so yeah, let's get into the game. If you haven't played Mordheim, uh, it's kind of like XCOM, if you've played that, but in a fantasy setting. If you haven't played XCOM, uh, then I don't know how else to describe this game to you. you Google XCOM, look at what that is, and then you'll understand what this game is, because it's basically the same as that. Uh, so I just did some veteran skills, it doesn't really matter, they're kind of whatever. Um, so I'm playing the Undead, obviously. Uh, apparently we're the Chosen of Morsliab. I don't know how the fuck you pronounce that. Not huge into Warhammer Fantasy. Just I find this game horribly addicting. Uh, we've got Boris von Bita. Bita? Bita? Boris the Biter is his new name. Um, is our, uh, our leader here. For heroes. Let's see what we got. To do. So the build I always go with, I've played the Undead a couple times, is I think the best build is you get a Gas Rat. And then you spam zombies because the ghouls fucking suck. You can look at these guys, like, I mean, they look cool and all, you know, they're Smeagols, they're, they're kind of neat, I guess. Like, stat-wise, they aren't horrible, right? Like, you could argue, like, they're better than the zombies in some ways. Like, some of the weapons they can use, right? Like, you know, the using the big two-handed great axes, great hammers. You can argue that they're good, but personally, I fucking hate those two weapons. Um, these are alright, you know, like, they're, they have last stand, unwavering, they're feral, which isn't good, but I don't use consumables, nobody does. Death Stench, I really don't use that ability. I don't find it to be that great, honestly. But all in all, like, it's just better to use uh, the zombies. Just, I find, like, they're just so much better. Like, they get more health, they end up dealing about the same damage. And more importantly, for the build that I run for these undead fellows, uh, this guy doesn't kill them with his um, gas attack, whatever it is here under skills. Uh, yeah, Poison Globe. The Poison Globe is, like, fucking amazing with this Warband, because you, you can just run your guys into combat and just have this guy throw Poison Globes at them until the battle's over. It's pretty fantastic. Um, so, I mean, I don't want to get too in-depth into, like, a tutorial aspect, because I'm kind of bad, uh, like, at actually explaining the mechanics of this game to people. Like, I've tried it before to people who haven't played it. I, I can't fucking do it. Uh, essentially, this is your character screen, you know, the red ones are your offense points, those let you, like, attack and do stuff like that. These are your strategy points, which let you move, uh, and use stances, which let you, like, block or dodge or whatever. Uh, damage reduction, damage, critical chance, health, it's all pretty self-explanatory there. Uh, rating's just a number to, like, give the AI how much skills and things their guys should have when compared to you. Uh, status, you get things like available, injured, unpaid, etc. Experience. Uh, these are your, your character stats, I guess you call them. So you got thing, you know, strength, which is like your damage, your health, your dodge chance, morale, uh, spell and re some resistances, your initiative and perception, which nobody fucking uses because it's stupid. Weapon skill, which is really good uh, for like parrying and things like that because each one increases your parry chance by 4%. Uh, the agility, I think it's, yeah, increases your dodge chance by 5 but with weapon stance, you're also getting melee resistance and a melee hit chance. Whereas with agility, you're getting a bit of uh, resistance and some chance to pass shitty tests. So of the two, I'd rather go weapon skill, and that's what this dude's going to do. I'm going get to him, get him in the heavy armor, uh, probably ditch the horrible spear, but he's going to keep the shield probably. And build him basically as like a tank. Uh, these are your archery, this is your crit chance, and hit just hit chance. You've got all kinds of numbers down here that you probably don't care about. And yeah, this is pretty much it. Uh, this dude's gonna be a dodge guy. He's gonna. What is it? Pistols. So is a. Yeah. Okay. We'll keep him with the pistols out. That's fine. That's alright. Yeah. That's your inventory screen, by the way. So you've got a head slot, a body, weapon, uh, weapon shield, or weapon weapon in some cases if you do that, or two-handed weapon. Here you use consumables. Um, but consumables are just bad in this game. They, they really are. Like, they're just, they're so bad, it's not even funny. Like, it's, there's no reason to use them. So yeah, right now, this is our warband. 
we've got uh, good old, I guess I should say on this screen, Boris Van Bita, Scurry Shadow Knife, Joseph, Fredrik, Julie. Julian, yeah, Julian, that's probably how I'll pronounce that. If it's wrong, that's too fucking bad. Uh, yeah. Here's all the uh, perks for these fellows. Unwavering, Indy Poison, No Talent, Expendable, Feral. They're all right. Gas Mask, which is really good. Cumbersome Gear, honestly, I never even noticed it with this guy, because he's got so much fucking movement range that, just be, by being a Skaven, he has a ton of movement range. So, the Cumbersome Gear never really comes into it, honestly. I think that's, uh, you know, general, here's the warband. If you haven't played it again, you know, um, I'm going to try and go over some stuff, but I don't want to go crazy in depth. I'm going to buy a helmet right off the start because it's good. Uh, we're also going to buy this. We're not going to use that right away, but we are going to buy it. And actually, no, I think about it. I want this great sword too. So if you look on our top right, uh, you have our wordstone, which is essentially the point of this game is to get wordstone to send it back to your faction leader. Uh, which in our case is the von Karsteins in Sylvania. So these are your fragments, which are the lowest shards, and then clusters. So how it works is every few days you get a shipment, which means you have to send them a certain amount, and if you fail that three times, you lose the game, and that's, that's just it. It also gets you a ton of money, and that's your main real money way. Uh, this here is just how much weight you have of wordstone, so it's like all of this together equals your weight, and then you have your money, you have your time, you have your date, there's like events and things that can happen. This is the shop. Uh, you can buy things, as tends to happen in a shop. And we want to buy some stuff. You know what? I think we do. We've got the money early game. I'm gonna buy some shit. We're actually gonna buy two of those. Hammers I don't like. Axe. I don't mind the axe. Buy an axe. Sure. Good enough. Uh, so warband management. So Mr. Von Bita here. I'm gonna give him I think I like the mace for this guy. Yeah, for the initiative. Do I? Yeah, I'm also going to give him a greatsword. Just because early game, two-handed weapons are fucking obscene. Like, you can just two-shot people. You. I'm not even going to bother giving you a weapon. You can take an axe. You take a, a mace. Yeah, there we go. Actually, I guess I have an extra sword. I'll give it to the gas rat. Old scurry here. And sword. He's going to be a dodge guy, so we're going to leave an empty hand so he gets a plus 10 dodge chance from fleet. Some pro strats right there. And so. Oh, no, oh, you wanna keep that one. Didn't equip my helmet either. You yeah, also get used to me managing inventory. It's like a really big part of this game. I can cut it out like if I really have to. Uh, but I would rather not. And I figure like if you haven't played the game before, it honestly might help you. Uh, yeah, we're gonna give this to leader. It looks ridiculous right now, but uh question is do I give him heavy heavy armor off the start? I think I do actually. It takes away all of his dodge. Yeah, I think I think the damage reduction is worth it early game, honestly. All right, so here's the game. We can't go into the smuggler's den yet. We have to complete a mission. So let's go to the campaign map and see what we've got going on. Uh, you can send out scouts, but these these look okay. That one's mad. Caught exploring the buildings through strike teams. I don't like to scatter randomly. Although, you know what, I think I'm actually going to do this one. Yeah, I think it's better. Um, so yeah, uh, episode length. Uh, again, this might be the only episode. People know how I am with uploading. Take a drink of my Coke there. Um, oh, right, yeah, that's from the new DLC. Yeah, uh, if this series does like reasonably well, I might... Because I do play this game a shit ton. Like, I've played it so much since I bought it, like a couple... Maybe a month ago, I think I bought it. I, I am addicted to this game, like, in a horrific manner. So, yeah, I'm thinking for episode length, it'll probably be one mission, and then, like, a bit before and a bit after, and then call it done. Just as you were closing to engage uh, a so here we're watching man, a mission. the horrific Dude's manifestation of the ghostly town crier causes both it's groups it's of warriors to flee marriage. in terror. As the apparition fades away, your warriors recover their courage. Scattered in their fright, your warband is spread out across the ruins, but so too are your enemies. Indeed. So yeah, in this in this one here, the hunter hunter in darkness, um, essentially like everybody's just put randomly around the map, which can be really good or it can be really bad, and you can get fucked. Loading times aren't fantastic in this game, especially while I'm recording. Apparently, it's a little bit slower than usual. 
Uh, so yeah, we have very poor ward stone, very poor scavenging, which is that other symbol to the right of it on the top there. Uh, the one to the left is your challenge rating, I think is what it's... Yeah, challenge rating. So that's basically like how strong the enemy is. Uh, this was a normal mission, I'm pretty sure, which means the AI doesn't receive any health buffs, which is fucking amazing, because that is one of the worst parts about this game. Is that on the higher difficulties, rather than getting better or getting more troops than you, the AI just gets more health damage. Also, I don't know if the audio is going to be any good, because it's, um... I haven't really played around with it too much, so it might be super quiet. Or I might be, I don't really know. Again, this is, you know, how I YouTube, it's fucking AIDS. Uh, okay. So we're fighting other undead right off the bat, which is interesting. So we have a dude right in front of our one zombie Joseph here. We've got our, our ghoul. These, two, these three are in a relatively good spot. Actually, the zombie's not. It'll take forever to get anywhere. This dude's got some free word stone, hopefully. Okay. It's not a horrible spot. It, it isn't horrible. Like, I've definitely seen worse. Uh, can I get around this guy? That's the next question. I cannot. Okay. So, yeah, this is, uh... This is the actual game, if you've never seen it before. Can I... I can't jump down either, can I? That is really unfortunate, actually. Please? No? Shit. Um... I think we're gonna have to delay this guy. Which I really don't like doing, because you just lose a point. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna delay, which means his turn will move... I should... Okay, don't like it. So he'll just move down the initiative order, is effectively how it works. Uh, we actually are really lucky with initiative, we are beating them pretty substantially. So, I want to link up as quick as possible, especially in the early game, you don't need your guys fighting alone, because they're probably just going to get shit on. There is Wordstone right there, however. But the thing is though, that's like right next, he is like way down the initiative line. You know what, no, uh, first mission, I'm not going to go for the Wordstone. Unless it's, like, directly beside me, just because I think it's... Uh, no, I forget what I just said. I'm going to get it. I'm going to go and try and actually grab a ton, because if I lose someone, it doesn't matter. Updated. So, yeah, I am going to grab it. Don't really care what it is. And then this one, maybe? I might cut through this building. That will put me closer to the vampire. Uh, I can't really... Fuck, I actually can't get in it at all. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna stay right... No, we're not. We're gonna move right there. So hopefully if the vampire comes, he can ambush, uh, which means he will just get a free attack. And if he hits them, he will surprise the enemy, which means they take a big penalty to hit him. Which is always a good thing. Uh, we're gonna get this. Get some fragments here. Objectives updated. I don't like getting fragments, but early on you gotta take what you can get. You can see it. Um, it took me. F oh, the movement penalty, really? So oh. that's that's really unfortunate. So he, he loses two me two meters on his movement range, which really sucks, actually. Okay, so you're the guy that's next to a ghoul. Where is the ghoul? It's probably upstairs. Right? Is this my card or theirs? Oh, okay. If it was theirs, I would have been able to steal their idol or something. Uh, let's go upstairs. Let's see if we can find the ghoul. So it's the first turn, so it won't... Where the fuck? Is it around the corner? No. Huh. I actually don't know where this ghoul is, so... Oh, okay, I'm moving fence. Come on. Oh, I think I fucked it up. Yeah, I fucked up a little bit. Shit. Ah, first misplay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's gonna happen a lot. If you don't know how to play this game, please don't judge me too hard. I'm not the greatest. I play it a lot, not the greatest at it. So we're back to Scurry, who still can't fucking move because our vampire is slower than a truck. So he has to delay a second time, which means he's lost two movement points uh, and literally done nothing. Which is really unfortunate, actually. This is, however, pretty good. Free scavenge. Uh, a great hammer. Again, I don't like great hammers. And if you want to know why, it's right there. Slow. Uh, they have a plus 10% chance to be dodged. The other ones are whatever. Those are just normal two-handed ones. Um, but yeah, having a, a negative 10... Or, sorry, a plus 10 versus dodge... Like, people dodging you, obviously. It, it is a pain in the ass, especially if you fight quick people like Skaven or Mercenaries sometimes. So, where do we go? What do we do from here? I want to group up. I think just gather the wagon might honestly be the best option at this point. 
Let's get this while we're over here. So we'll both. So we'll grab Objectives a updated. So it is worth noting, early game, the vampire hero here, uh, he is like really strong. Especially if you get him in heavy armor right away. Sometimes he can just tank like three or four dudes without issue. We are now on the enemy turns. Uh, where is this fellow? Oh, he is starting. He missed. Oh, I'm gonna turn the log off because I don't like. Basically, this spoils the game for you, I find. Like, right there, see, I knew that I hit him before he swung the mace. So I'm gonna turn that log off. If you want to, you can you can look at that and it tells you rolls and things. I really don't care. Uh, getting that hit though is actually pretty important because it means he's nice and weak for us. Oh, the Empire jumped down somewhere. So he was up high. Okay, he is also right here. I didn't think he was that far. That is, oh, and there's a ghoul. We might have trouble, actually. We might lose the first mission. Okay. Um, so let's finally get Scurry out. So we can't shoot from up here. You know what? I think that's actually what we're going to do. Nope, we don't want to aim. Get out your poison globe. So, can you throw? Can you hit the ghoul is the real question. Shit. Alright, we're going to move down. We are going to move down because he has a low chance to shoot. We will see if we can make it to the... Oh, yeah, we can. Easily. Fucking easily, boys. Okay. So, we're going to glow right there. And hope that the other guy is stupid enough to walk into it. Uh, you can't shoot, can you? So you're gonna switch weapons, actually. Yeah. Means he can't go into a stance, but he has his sword out. Which could be important. Because the, the warp... Basically, if you try and shoot into combat, you have a big negative, or a big, uh, negative to it. Which is never a good thing. Oh, fuck, the dregs over here? Oh, yeah. Right. Okay, good, we got an ambush on the school. That's good. And he misses. Good old Joseph. The problem with two-handed weapons early game, like that ghoul has, is you get one attack, right? Um, but the thing is, right now, if you have a one-handed weapon, you're also only getting one attack. So there's very little reason to not... Uh, oh shit. Not use the two-handed weapon, if you can. So our vampire new is round being has started. He is, he is absolutely being shredded. We are going to poison globe again, because that dreg's in there now, who can also be poisoned. Thank you. Okay, well, so. Yeah. So, we're going to move you around to stab at the dread, I think. Yeah. So, him. a good hit, okay. He failed his dodge roll. So how this works is, basically, you have to roll to hit them, and then the enemy, if they're in a stance, like this dodge stance, they roll to try and dodge. So, in a lot of cases, there's actually two rolls to even land a hit. Uh, also, I'm like 95% sure, we're going to lose our vampire lord, and we're going to lose this mission. Which is an excellent start. Because, yeah, he is surrounded and is just getting shit on. So, this dude has, like, no fucking movement. Because he got cursed. So, forget the word stone. We're actually just gonna run and try and get over there. I doubt it's gonna happen, but that, yeah. If we don't, then we don't have a chance at all, so. So, we wanna turn left. Is this quicker than. Yeah. Almost certainly, actually. I don't know if he'll be able to reach. Oh no, he might be. Okay, good. So he can charge. So if they're just doing more damage, and they surprise the enemy, that's surprise debuff. Which means, again, they take. It's the like, same as the ambush. They take a negative to hit, but it does cost more points. Uh, and it's like. So this dude's fucking up this ghoul up here. So he was around that corner. So we're gonna parry, because it's higher than the dodge. Um, so there's no way in hell you can disengage, right? Okay. So, who do we try and beat down? Uh, the, I guess the ghoul. <laughs> the ghoul. Should get at least two attacks, though. Yeah, just to Get the ghoul again. Almost kill it. Uh, the ghoul might die to the poison, which would be really nice. And, yeah, obviously the parry stand. So he's dead. Um, we can write the vampire lord off. He is about to be taken down. Uh, yeah, that 43 is why you want to use um, two more weapons for it, yeah. Because you only get one attack anyways, you may have to do a little bunch of damage. Yep, and our leader is down, just like that. Objectives updated. Uh, and how morale with the vampire lords here work is because the zombies don't count towards morale. Oh, and he's still in our weapons. Nice, nice. Classy. 
classic. Hopefully you just took the word stuff. I didn't I don't have to buy any weapons so far. Um yeah. So how the morale is working. Oh, come on now. If if we essentially if we lose this gl uh, globe rat, we just lose because there's a new stuff. round has started. So, uh, there is no idea it's out of the system. No, no reason. Shit. Alright, uh cut this bitch. And I think I'm actually gonna poison again. Just because I can probably hit all of them. It won't affect the vampire, obviously, but it will affect the two ghouls and the drake. So, yep, that ghoul there is dead, which is nice. And the other ghoul's gotta be wounded. I don't know what his health is. So, the ghoul would have gone next, which means the zombie gets to go. Uh, let me just check here. How low is that ghoul? Nice, yeah, he's not as low as I'd like him to be. Here's what we're gonna do we are gonna body block. Do what zombies do here. We're gonna get him right here. If I can. There we go. So now the vampire shouldn't be able to uh, in order to hit the, the globe rat. He will be able to once the dreg dies. But if you look on the top bar of the initiative order, the vampire goes before the dreg. Which means the vampire can't get to the ghoul before the dreg dies. Or sorry, to the, to the globe rat, not the ghoul. So that might buy us another turn. Which uh, probably won't mean shit in reality, but it could possibly mean something. It's all about like trying to min-max our options here. And we can get this guy. Can he charge? No. He's just out of charge range, which means he essentially doesn't do anything this turn, unless those two, the ghoul or the vampire lord, come towards him. Can you win this? Probably not. Uh, especially not if you miss. But, we are gonna... Yeah, we're gonna stick it. I was debating dodge there because that looks like it's a heavy weapon. Uh, which might give him plus 10 to dodge, but it's still be higher. So the ghoul is doing something. Uh, okay, you picked a cord stone from somewhere. And got it. Good. And hit, and is dead. Okay, that is a good play. That is good. That is an important thing. Uh, so Powell proceeds to lead a, loot his own soldier after he died. And then attack her uh, zombie friend, y Yulian. Uh, hits him twice. Okay, wait a second. Uh, yeah, I think this dude's gonna lose up here, but um, I'm still kind of okay with that on the first mission. It's just as easy to replace him. Yep, so the drug's dead, out of commission. A new That's the round best part about the poison, started. is they take damage before taking an action. Uh, which effectively just means they just kind of get shit on, honestly. And it's a little bit bullshit if I'm entirely inside this. I can't get his stuff. So, do we risk putting him in combat with him? I think we do. Because if he dies, yeah, you know what we definitely do. We charge. He fails the terror test, which is really bad, actually. He loses out on a bunch of offensive points. Uh, so yeah, so his total went from 5 to 2. Fortunately, it happens afterwards, so we still actually get the points. They both miss somehow, because this game hates me. Also, hopefully you see this, because I'm the most unlucky person on the planet when it comes to these types of games. Because I will miss 4 90% in a row. Uh, mind you, people are saying this game tends to bullshit its RNG for the AI, but I don't really want to get into that. It's okay. Uh, the Undead are by far my favorite faction though, like I really like these guys, they're just, uh, they're a lot of fun. I originally, I originally played the Witch Hunters, uh, like when I first started, like I got in right around when the Witch Hunters came out, and I just, I couldn't get into them. I just found them so squishy and like they just died so easily that it was just bad. Alright, so this dude's dead. Unless he, uh, unless he manages to actually parry an attack here, he is just dead. Which is okay. Zombies are expendable. Okay, and right there. The, so the, what happened was, when their dreg died, their morale got below the morale threshold, which meant that uh, they could they had to pass a rev test, which they failed to do, which means they, they lose. So they took out one of us, we took out three of them, two ghouls and a drag, they took out our vampire lord. Uh, on the left here, we have our, we didn't complete all objectives, we didn't do the bonus one, we didn't get anywhere near it. We got a little bit of stuff, uh, we got two shards, uh, let's get it accurate. And, uh, no, we didn't even get that great hammer, did we? So, yeah, that's not great. So, it didn't go well. 
Not great for the first mission. Losing Your the, performance the has validated the trust Count Vlad has placed in you. So Demonstrate your loyalty well, and enjoy the fire. favor of the Von Karsteins. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, the problem with losing our leader is we might have to fire him here if he got a bad injury. Uh, which is kind of shitty because they're expensive to replace usually. Internal wound. He loses one offense point. Yeah, he's getting fired. That is that is the end of that dude. These all they all get some experience. They'll get two as a baseline, uh, and then beyond that they get extra stuff. We got thirteen dollars and some word stone. So yeah, we'll pay the treatment, which is ten. So yeah, that didn't pay for anywhere near this mission. Uh, yeah, you are. I am sorry, but you are fired. So we need to hire a new leader with, for 64 gold, which um, isn't good. And also, I probably should have unequipped him because I don't know if I actually keep my shit. Okay, I do. That's fine. So we'll re-equip him with his stuff. Give him the other guys. We've got his brother now, Claudio. I don't like that name. I wish we got a cooler one, but I'll deal with names at some point one day. We don't need clothing because that's we just get it, same shields and spears. We will give this nice fellow a helmet and hope it does better than it did for the last man. Um, so, next day. A new shipment has been well, requested. We have a shipment now. So we need to deliver 75 pounds of wordstone. We currently have four, uh, because that mission went so badly. Um, yeah, it, 75, it's nothing, honestly, it, you can easily get it, it's just that mission went really badly for us. So this is how, this is the Smuggler's Den, where you sell your wordstone. So this is the Vlad von Karstein, my primary faction, who, if I don't give them, uh, like, these shipments, these ones where it tells me how many days are left, I just lose the game after a certain amount of time. Uh, over here is your reputation, you also get reputation for each, uh, payment, or each shipment you send to them. So you gain extra days, you get extra money... Gain extra days, get extra money, get extra money. You get a free leader there, which is really cool. You get a free impressive. Then there's the cutthroat den, which gives you free shit, and it gives you like cheaper uh, skills. Then there's these dudes, which give you cheaper skills and free sh free pools. It looks like. Oh, that's kind of cool. If I do this one, I can hire warp guard, which are the um, uh, one of the the Skaven guys. I didn't know that actually. I've I've known I've never really played around with the smugglers down a lot. If I'm honest, I've only ever sent them to my primary faction. I know this was a thing, but I didn't know I got cool shit like this. Because that's really cool actually. If I get oh, you can get mutants too. I don't think I want mutants. Um, but warp guard could be really good actually. Like zombie a zombie warp guard build could be cool. I might actually try and do that. That could be neat. Uh, anyways, I hope you've enjoyed. This is where I'm going to call the la or the first episode, which might be the last episode, knowing uh, how I do things. Uh, if you enjoyed it, push all the relevant buttons and whatnot. I'm sure you know how YouTube works. And uh, yeah, uh, also, if you post helpful comments, don't expect me to answer them until I've done a couple episodes, because I'm going to do this in bulk. So I'm going to do, I'm going to spend a good amount of time today recording these. So thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully there's an episode two coming.